Hello, and thank you for tuning in. This video is going to be on how I make my shrunken and mummified heads from a spirit Halloween bag of bones, tissue paper, and latex. And here are the bones that I choose to use. The skull, the spinal column, and the two smallest bones in the bag. I screw and gorilla glue all this together, and here's what the armature looks like. And here I'm spraying down the skull with Krylon spray adhesive so that the latex has something to bond to. Because as everyone knows, latex doesn't like to bond to much of anything except itself and t-shirts. And as you can see, I already glued some eyeballs into the eye sockets so that the eyelids keep their shape when I stitch them shut at the end. Now before letting the Krylon spray adhesive dry, I took my Monster Maker's mask making latex and gave it a couple of coats. And now I'm taking my tissue paper and filling in the nose and making tendons and different gross looking stuff all throughout the skull. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a really good YouTube tutorial on this. It's called How to Make a Realistic Horror Skull Prop by Adam Savages Tested. They use cotton instead of tissue paper on theirs, but I'm pretty sure it's the same concept. And now I'm taking tissue paper and latex and making eyelids. It doesn't really matter how crude they are because I'm going to be stitching them shut later on. I also did this with the lips. I fashioned tissue paper and latex and covered up the teeth as it didn't really matter what it looked like because I was going to stitch it closed later. And now I'm taking a thick coat of latex and blotching it all over the place to make sure that there's no imperfection lines visible from the tissue paper. And after letting it thoroughly dry, it was time for paint. I took a really thick layer of brown and did that for the base coat and then dry brushed lighter colors over it. And now I'm stitching up the eyes and the mouth. Now I started with single stitching through the eyes and the mouth, but then later I decided that I wanted to switch the mouth to X stitching, so you may notice a difference in the stitching between now and when I finish the video. And finally came the hair. Now to adhere the hair to the head, I simply took this liquid latex that you can get on Amazon that says that it dries clear and I just used that as a glue and in the end it pretty much dried clear so it came out really good. That's what you can do if you decide to ever do something like this. You can always use that liquid latex that they sell on Amazon that says it dries clear because it worked really well. And here I'm just styling the hair a little bit, pushing it back and fluffing it up in certain places. I also took brown acrylic ink and brown acrylic paint and dry brushed it all over the spinal column and all over the two little bones to make it look old and dingy like the rest of the piece. So that's pretty much how I make my shrunken and mummified heads. What follows is the finished product. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.